Hi, I'm Curly Sue, and I'm here at VegFest, and I'm at the Green Bean Cafe. That's correct, yeah. Yes, and I'm here with the owner, Ali, the founder, and she's going to tell me a bit about um, her vegan business. Tell me. Yeah. So the Green Bean Cafe is based in Tottenham, North London. Okay. I set it up because I found that there wasn't actually a need, um, there wasn't actually um, a market for the food that I really enjoy. So that's why I started. So I kind of filled the gap by creating food for customers in the area that I live um, because there was nothing for me really. So and is there yeah. many? Um, what's the typical sort of food that you do? So it's quite a multicultural um, community, Tottenham. I don't know if anyone's yeah. familiar with it. So it's got Turkish, it's got Indian, Caribbean, Brazilian. So it's quite meat-based. Right. Heavily dense meat base, and I started off as a pescatarian, right. then went to vegetarian, and then kind of like transitioned to vegan. Just, just so happened, um, and then I realised that I, there were quite limited places for me to go and eat in oh, my yeah. local vicinity. Mm -hmm. um, so if I wanted to get something to eat, I have to go out of the borough, like for quite a few miles. So okay. yeah, I just decided to set up the Green Bean Cafe. Lovely. And do you have a signature dish? Uh, um, or, so, special, or your favorite? <laughs> well, my signature dishes are my oh. salads, basically. So okay. my customers know me for my salads. And they're quite ornate. They've got loads of different flavors. They use a lot of different um, ingredients that we wouldn't necessarily buy because it's just too laborious in terms of cooking and preparing. Right. So my salad dishes, which I've got today, are the most popular. Um, and it's, they're normally filled with uh, chickpeas and harissa, you know, like um, organic uh, cider vinegars, because I would make all my own dressings. Um, and the vegetables that I use are 80% uh, organic, so it's, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say I've got one particular dish, because all okay. of my salads and the savouries that I make and the sauces that I make are just all signature for the business, because that's what we launched with, and that's what my customers always keep wanting, um, you know, all the time. So. Okay, brilliant. Now, all that remains now is we need to try a little bit. Can we try a little no, something? Absolutely. Then, please? What would you like? Um, whichever so do you is want your a bit favorite. Of everything? Um, if you just try one, of, yeah, two, just two yeah? different ones, okay. that would be great. So, do you like spice or not really? Depends. Is it spice as in flavor no, or as in hot? It's spicy in flavor. So it's. Is this, spicy in flavor is good. This particular salad is called spicy harissa aubergines, and it's got Ooh. roasted aubergines with harissa, fresh garlic, olive oil, and some lemon juice. And I pair that with some um, uh, raw uh, cabbage, kidney beans, and sun-dried tomatoes, and that's normally wow. that's actually quite popular. Okay. And another one which is quite popular is called Farrow and the Rainbow. So it, I use an Italian grain, which um, is uh, low in gluten. It's, 90, it's more or less 90% water, and I pair that with a creamy avocado dressing with uh, red cabbage and carrots and cranberries. And I'm going to go for the second one. I'm yeah. not a great fan of aubergine. Okay. I'm sure it tastes lovely. The second one sounds sure. great. Let's okay. try that one. Okay. I love eating stuff at VegFest. Okay. What's the grain that you put on? So I've got some roasted mung beans here mm -hmm. um, with some fresh uh, red pepper hummus and some, roast, some toasted um, pumpkin seeds as well. Okay, yeah. let me have a try. <laughs> well, I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite fresh, it's nice and crunchy. Mm. It's not too overpowering in terms of flavor. And I think the avocado dressing that I add is just naturally really creamy. I won't talk, I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me now. <laughs> I'm in the zone. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> Always in the food zone. For people who don't like salad, they need to try this. Yeah. This is really good. For people's perception of salads, it's just lettuce, tomatoes and cucumbers. So when I started in March, I kind of like wanted to dispel them if actually you can have these salads with at any time mm. of the week, any time of the day. You don't necessarily have to eat it in a sandwich or something. And with my food, you can take different varieties, like two different combinations, three different combinations, and you've got a meal right there. Mm. You can add additional things if you want, or you can not. And what's really great about the green bean is that I don't have just vegans come to me, I have meat eaters as well. So they tend to buy the big boxes of salads and then take it home and have it with their Sunday dinner or have it for lunch the next day. So it's kind of like all encompassing. 
I believe that if it tastes good, anybody will eat well, it. Well, absolutely. <laughs> yes. I don't want to exclude anybody. Yes. I just want everybody to enjoy the rainbow and eat my food for health and happiness, which is my slogan. Well, thank you very much. It's been wonderful coming. And I want to carry on eating this, so I'm just going to say thank you so much. My pleasure. We'll put the link to her website in the comment section below. Please don't forget to click and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next See time. You.